Enjoying time on the story train with the boys and girls. Good morning, Linda. Yes, I know you're here to learn what the date is today so that we can all keep track of the, the correct date. <laughs> yes, boys and girls. So today, the sun came up, and all of you boys and girls at home and grown-ups can join along and sing the sunshine song. Ready? We'll sing that right now. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. You know who you are. <laughs> Please don't take my sunshine away because it looks like a nice sunshiny day out there. Yesterday was so windy, it blew down all the branches in my yard on my trees. Looked outside, well, there's still some branches on the trees, but there's so many, I'll have to go out there today and clean up my yard. There's just so many branches and put them in a nice pile and then take them where they need to go one day, <laughs> but not right now, because we're not really leaving the house much, are we, boys and girls? So, we're here today, and today's a new day, like I said, so it's the story train, as you can see there, and the little choo-choo decals that I've placed on this board. And then, yesterday was April 13th, alrighty, and yesterday was a Monday, I've already written, today is Tuesday, now I've got to change the date. Oh, there's my eraser, right here. The eraser will erase yesterday because that's all gone now boys and girls now today is a new day so we get up and we enjoy that today is now april 14th that's a one and a four here we go april 14th look at that that means it's a new day and that means we get to go outside maybe and play and work in the yard and help our mommy and daddy Maybe they're going to be working to plant some vegetables or working in the dirt and we're going to be digging or helping to rake the yard, right? Because we always would like to be helping. It's important for boys and girls to have little chores to do, even youngsters. Makes them feel like they have a part in the family if they have a little chore to do, right? And even as they get older, it's important to teach them responsibility and how the family is a team effort. So chores are so important to help them feel included in helping the team effort to succeed. So that's why it's, it's very good for the young, young children all the way up until they, they're old enough to move out on their own. Bye-bye. And they go off on their own. So all throughout those years, it's important for them to contribute to the team effort. So they have their chores to do, whatever that may be. And it's age appropriate for them. Make them and it makes them feel important and needed. So we changed the day. It's a story train. We sang our song. Now I think it's time for us to say hello. Why don't we sing happy birthday? I, there are so many boys and girls at home, and it's their birthday today. And it's so important for them to feel, because so many of them are unable to celebrate their birthdays with their best friends in their home, and they miss their best friends. And so, and they miss their teacher, or they would be in school. So I do believe, boys and girls, that if we sing happy birthday for them, they'll feel that love in their heart and we will be singing happy birthday to them and making them feel special. So I have my story train little candle here, you see? Right here. It has a little button on the back of it. <laughs> we'll put that down. We only have two hands. And we'll turn it on. And this is the candle for the happy birthday of the boys and girls at home. Hopefully that will work. There we go. Oh, because it's a special day, because it's your birthday. And I want you to know that we all are 
going to sing for you so that you know that it's a special day. Even though you can't celebrate it the way you would be wanting to right now, it's important. It's an important day. It's a very special day. It's the best day of the year because you were born. Yeah, so sing along with me, even grown-ups at home, so that the children can feel that energy, that wonderful knowing that they're special and important. Today's their birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. One more time, boys and girls, because it's a special day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Especially to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, it's your birthday. See? Now you get to blow out the story train candle. See, that's for you. So that you know how special you are. It's your birthday. Ready? Blow out the candle. We go, ready? Take a deep breath. Blow. Oh, you did it. Oh, you blew out the candle. Good job. Look at you. You did that. All right. So we'll save that for tomorrow so that we can sing happy birthday to the boys and girls because it's their, because it's their birthday tomorrow. Every day is somebody's birthday, right? So now I think, oh, look what I have here. I have my crystal ball, right? You know what that's for, boys and girls, right? That is for saying a special good morning and hello to the boys and girls out there who who watch the show and some of them who check in a little bit later, they watch that and I say a special hello to them. So let's see, I think in my crystal ball, whose name is that? Oh, I think I see, look at that, that's CJ. Oh, good morning, CJ. That's Carmelo John, good morning. And he's watching Story Train. And I see Elsie and Hannah and Hazel, and Winter, and his, and CJ's friend Otis, they're friends. I see Dylan, and Savannah, and oh, who else is that? Allison, and Logan, and Maya, and Malia, and Kara, good morning, Kara, and Christina, and Camille. Oh, there's just so many children. There's Brooke, and Salem Story, and Hayden and Bailey and also Lucia and Elazne, Anastasia, Isabella, Siciliana, good morning, and Rose. Good morning, Aubrey. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, boys and girls. All of you at home, who are listening to the story train and you're here this morning and we're going to read some stories and talk about the alphabet and sing some songs right so this morning now why don't we let's see we could sing a song first why don't we do that boys and girls singing songs is always so much fun why don't we sing the duckling song oh, i know you know that song right oh and miss sharon has her tea and it says friends on my tea mug, right? I have tea every morning. When I join you here, so that I could have water, maybe tomorrow. My wellness coach said I really should drink more water. Her name is Carly, Catchy Tori, so I, I might do that tomorrow, I'll have water. I'll have my tea for today. And I, I use this because it has the name friends on it because we're all friends here and all around the world, all the boys and girls are friends with each other. Let's sing the duckling song. Let's see. Now I have a pretty new ribbon. See that? I had, it was just one, but I found a nice blue ribbon too. So we can have blue and gold, two ribbons together right there. So let's sing the duckling song. Ready? 
One, two, I'll be the conductor. One, two, ready, sing. Five little ducks went swimming one day. Hope you're singing. Over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but no little ducks came swimming back. Oh no. A sad mommy duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. And all five little ducks came swimming back. Yay! There yeah, they all came back. They went for a picnic without their mommy. Oh no. But then they all came back when she called them. So that's so good. We like that little duckling song. They sing that. And that counts to the number five also. It's five. It's one. There's the number one. One little duckling. Two little ducklings. That's the number two. Ready? What's next is the number three. The number three. And then we also have the, what would be next after the number three. Ready? Surprise, it's the number four. <laughs> and then what comes after the number four, boys and girls? Four is num one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's what that is. There we go. One, two, three, four. Then what would be the next one? It would be all of these fingers and your thumb. How many is that? That would be the number... <gasps> Surprise, ready? The number five. That would be the number five. All of those fingers and your thumb. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And then what would be the next number after five? Ready? The number six. Six. Like pick up sticks. Number, what's next after six? The number, it's a surprise, here it comes, ready? Number seven, and maybe your name is Kevin. <laughs> right? And then, surprise, surprise, the next number would be number eight. Looks like a little racetrack. Two big circles together. Number eight, don't be late. Then what's the next number? After number eight, there's just a couple more, we're counting to 10. Number eight, number nine, stay in line, number nine. Then the very number one, the very next one after that, that we're talking about is number one through 10. Number 10 is a one and a zero. That's what it looks like. It's the number 10. Just like in the word when we say when. When will be 10? When will it be 10? There we go. <laughs> right? So now, boys and girls, why don't we sing a song? Since we're talking about numbers 1 through 10. This is number 1. Okay? You can put up one finger. Right? You can do two fingers. We'll do that like that. There's a song called Hickory Dickory Dock. And since I have a cuckoo clock, that would be the kind of clock. And I have a pretend little mouse. <laughs> and he can run up. He can pretend to run up the cuckoo clock. <gasps> like that, right? 
And the song is about a mouse who keeps running up the clock to get a piece of cheese that's up on the top of the clock. So I'm not quite sure of the melody, parents at home, so bear with me. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one and down he ran. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck two, he lost his shoe. Hickory dickory dock, right? Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, he's sitting right up there. The clock struck three. He banged his knee and then he fell down. Hickory dickory dock. Hit. Now we're on number four. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four. <laughs> he fell some more. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. We're on number five. And this is what. It'll the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck five, he took a dive, hickory dickory dock, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck six, <laughs> tick tock tick, <laughs> hickory dickory dock, Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck seven, his name it might be Kevin, <laughs> because it rhymes, hickory dickory dock, that's the number seven, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck eight, he's running late, hickory dickory dock, number eight. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck nine, he broke the line. Oh. Hickory dickory dock, one more hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, there he is, the clock struck ten, and that's the end, hickory dickory dock. So boys and girls, you can sing that with your mommy and daddy. It's just about rhyming words for the numbers 1 through 10, right? And Hickory Dickory Dock, that, he ran up and down 10 times. And you can sing that with numbers for that. <laughs> so let's do our alphabet, boys and girls. We usually do that. We go over that. We, and we, we're still learning. And that's good. I have the alphabet right here. Right here, boys and girls. Here is the alphabet. Right? Here we go. We're going to sing the alphabet song. Those of you who know that, please join in. I know that some of you at home know the alphabet song. Here, and we'll sing it. We'll start singing it right now. Let me use this. <clears throat> A, B. So we won't go too fast because we're learning that each sound each name each is a letter <laughs> it's not just a, a song with words it is also letters that's what we're singing about boys and girls so we try to sing it not too fast ready because i'm going to point to each letter a b this is what b looks like see that in case you're just learning about that c d e f G, H, I, J, K, L, I'm going to slow down here, it's four letters, L, M, N, O, P, because some of us want to go L, M, N, O, as if that's one letter, <laughs> L, M, N, O, P, because we're learning, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, 
W. Oh, you see, because it has two things like that. W, X, Y, and Z, like zebra. Now I know my ABCs. Thank you so much for singing with me. Thank you so much. And today, boys and girls, is the vowel E day. That's the letter E because it's a Tuesday. And on Tuesday, that means it's letter E because there are five vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. And you. <laughs> Can you do that? And you. So it's the second day of the work week. So that means it's the letter E day. So parents at home, think of words and talk about words with the sound E in them. So I have a few books that we can read, boys and girls, about the letter E. And I have some words that we can look at. Let's put our vowel, our alphabet board right there. There we are. We're back. See that? Just for a second. This is the letter E, right? The letter E. That's a... Well, a big E and a little E, but they're really called uppercase because it's a tall, big E, and then lowercase is a little E. But they both have the same sound, even though they look so different. They do look different. I know that. Maybe that's confusing, but they're the same letter. Just one is a big one and one is a little one. Kind of like you're little now, right? And you might be little. But someday you're going to become a grown-up, so you'll be big. It's the, the little E, and then it becomes the big B. <laughs> e, the big E. So it's a little, but they are the same letter. Just one's a grown-up and one's a little one. So, but they have the same sound, and it's the sound of F. As in the word, led. I led my friend on an adventure. Lead. Then we have, what do we have? We have the word bet. B, eh. There's eh. There's the sound of eh right there. That's the letter E. Bet. We have the, let's see. What do we have here? The word vet. That's where you would take your, your dog and your, your cat, your man, your pet to the vet. Right? If you have a pet, this is the word sled. Sled. See, these are the letters that we're using, boys and girls. Letters from the alphabet. And this, you might have this for breakfast. Or when you're making, so you're baking with your mommy or your daddy, you're cooking something, you use an egg. Eh. That's the E. It has the sound of eh. Egg. There we go. So those are those are the words that use. There's some of the words that use the letter E with the sound of E. And so that, why don't we read our, some stories right now? Let's do that. I have a book called Beer Party because the word beer has E in it. Let's read this book together, boys and girls. It's called Beer Party. Right? I wonder what that's about. Look at the cover. That's funny, huh? Maybe they, they're going to have a party. Bear party. Mm -hmm. Let's turn the page and see what's inside. What's that? Hmm. Looks like a piece of candy. A piece of taffy right there. That says for you. It must be. Well, I wonder what kind of animals could be in this story. It's called Beer Party. So what do you think, boys and girls? It's, it might have beers in it. And there's some right there. Let's see. So the first page. There's a park. There's a park down in Australia named Koala Park, where real teddy bears live in trees. Australia, that's, that's far away for, for me. 
But maybe not. But if you live in Australia, it's not far because that's where you live. Let's see. And the bears, they are most always happy and play together all day. But once upon a time, they became angry with each other. No bear remembers why. And they became angrier and just angrier. They were in a bad mood all the time. Who knows why? They weren't sure. First, they stopped speaking to each other. And then they even stopped looking at each other and just stared straight ahead and made growling noises. Hmm. Maybe they were spending too much time together. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're not very happy. They're all just in the trees, not really talking to each other. Uh -huh. That would make people, even people might get upset, right? If nobody's talking to each other or spending time together, that's no fun. The wise old bear who lived at the top of the tallest eucalyptus tree thought this behavior was terrible. Something must be done right away, he said to himself. He scratched his head and shouted. I'll get a costume ball and all bears will be invited. I'll give a costume ball. They will all wear masks so they won't have to tell each other from who they are. In this way, they will soon get together again. At sundown, I'll tell them. So it'll be a costume party for the bears. And I'll tell them to take off. And then at midnight, they take off their costumes and masks. And by then, they'll be friends. And all will once more be well in Koala Park. The angry bears love this idea. Each chose a different costume. There was an American Indian bear. There was a sleeping bear, a Spanish bear, a clown bear, a French bear, an angel bear. They all wore costumes. A nurse bear, a bullfighter bear. There was a hunting bear, a Chinese bear. Oh. A night bear. A dancing bear. A Turkish bear. A Napoleon bear. The music for the dancing was lovely. There was an accordion that went squeak, squeak. A triangle that went ting, ting. I use one of those when I sing this. The little duckling song, it's called a triangle. A guitar that went plink, plunk, and a big horn that went poof, poof. It was a wonderful party. Uh oh. <laughs> there goes my cuckoo, cl cuckoo clock. Oh, look at everyone's dancing. All of the bears are having so much fun. They all have a costume on. And they're dancing all together. See that? So nice. They did all kinds of dances. There were rumbas, sambas, bunny hugs, and turkey trots. They also did very hard to do, very hard to do dances, which they made up all by themselves. At sundown, the wise old bear who lived at the top of the tallest eucalyptus tree shouted, off with your costumes and off with your masks. The bears took off their costumes and threw them in a big pile in the middle of the dance floor. They took off their masks and hung them on the branch of a tree. Then they turned and looked at each other, and then something happened. Koala bears are famous for looking very much alike, and these bears had been unfriendly for so long they could no longer tell each other apart. They weren't, they weren't even sure who each other were. So the, the clown bear didn't know who the dancing bear was, and the hunting bear didn't know the nurse bear. They just didn't know each other anymore because they all looked alike. 
the wise old bear who lived at the top of the tallest eucalyptus tree thought this behavior was he just did not understand that something must be done right away. He scratched his head and he thought, put on your costumes and, and go on with the dance. So they put on their costumes and they tied their masks on and then they happily danced together far into the night. Hmm. Well, they're having so much fun. The bears had had such a good time at the party. The next day, they all decided to wear a, a part of their costume as a souvenir. And this was a perfect idea. With these souvenirs, they could easily tell each other apart. The clown bear knew the dancing bear. The hunting bear knew the nurse bear. The Indian bear knew the Chinese bear, and they all got together and talked about what a wonderful party they had had. After a while, they found that they could once again tell each other apart as just plain bears. And after all that, it was, it was, they all got along at Koala Park, the wise old bear who lived at the top of the tallest eucalyptus tree was so happy, he thought it was wonderful. He scratched his head and thought, from now on in Koala Park, there must be many, many more bear parties. The end. And that's called Bear Party. That's right, boys and girls. The characters in this story, if you think about that for a minute, there's character, setting, problem, and solution. And the stories always have those four parts. So the character in the stories were bears, right, boys and girls? Koala bears, actually, who live where? What was the setting? The setting was Australia. And then the problem was that they really weren't getting along much. And so then the solution was that there was a nice bear party and everyone got along after that. And that was the solution of the party, of the problem. Character setting, problem, and solution. Boys and girls. Bear party. <laughs> they had so much fun at the bear party. My boys and girls, so are you having your breakfast this morning? You having something to drink, I hope? You know I have my tea. I enjoy that. And we could read another story. Oh, we could visit Story Train Town for a little bit. Why don't we do that? That's so much fun. Let's, let's visit Story Train Town right now. And Story Train Town is right, right over there, right on the other side of Miss Sharon's living room. We could go there and there's things that we could do together. We could just spend some time pretending in Story Train Town. So let's, let's do that. All right, boys and girls, I'll just be moving. This will only take me one second. Well, more than a second, but not much more. Let's see. I just have to move. Oh, there it is. You can see Story Train Town coming up over here. Look at that. Story Train Town. I'll put that right there because that's where it's going to stay. There. Story Train Town. There we go. There's a choo choo train, and there are some people, and there are also boys and girls. So I changed this a little bit so that you can see it closer. So I'm right here, <laughs> boys and girls. I don't know if this is going to work okay or not, but um, I just wanted you to be able to see all of the... I wanted you to be able to see closer up of the choo-choo train, right? So I, I just put the camera a little bit closer for you. And I'll be the one who moves it for you. We'll be playing here together, right? So let's sing. I have a little song that we can sing and we can put together the choo-choo train and also some of the Legos. We can use those. How about if I do that? All right, we have Legos to use, boys and girls. Look at those, aren't those nice? We have all those. We have a lot of different things we can try. I have some smaller Legos too. Oh, won't you join me on a... 
special journey. <laughs> All aboard the story train. Let's put together the choo-choo train. Here we go. We'll put it right here. We'll, I'll show you. Okay, let's put this together. To story train town. The train is on the track almost now. Almost. <laughs> You hear the clickety-clack sound. Almost. There we go. Right? Time to go back for a while to Story Train Town, where everyone you meet is a brand new friend, and everyone is smiling and happy to spend some time with you. You're never blue. We'll ride the story train now. Sunny days and rain now. Through sunny days and rain now. Listen to the choo-choo sounds. Choo-choo. The wheels go round and round. In story train town. Woo-woo. There it goes. It's going all around on the track, boys and girls. The choo-choo train comes around the track. And we only have at home, at Miss Sharon's, at the story train, we only have the things that we have at home. So let's go over the bridge with the story train. Ready? Here we go. It's going up. It's going up. It's got to go over the bridge. Woo-hoo, there it goes. Up over the bridge. Ready? Whoa, did you see that? It's going to take that corner. Whoa, around that way. Woo there goes the choo choo train. You hear, the, you hear that? It's on the tracks, boys and girls. And we'll just park that right there for now. Because it's time for us to build a bridge, I think. And isn't it nice, boys and girls, to have someone to use your imagination with? A lot of times grown-ups don't really, you know, maybe they, they're too busy. So that's why we do this, because it's so important for you to know that it's a wonderful thing for you to be using your imagination to pretend, because that you'll be the person who will grow up to have these wonderful ideas, because you're using your imagination. So if you are a parent at home with a child, it's very important to encourage imagination, using your imagination, right? So that's why... We have the story train down. That's, in case you were wondering why, <laughs> there is a reason for story train town. So we have Legos, boys and girls. We have black one. We have a red one. We can put these together. We could build a small bridge. Right? Because we have Bob the Builder. He's right here. He'll help us. He'll give us blueprints <laughs> and we can read those and it would tell us that we need to put the yellow and the black one together like that right and then we also could use a blue one how about a blue one right on that side like that yellow no no that's not yellow that's black that's orange and that's blue and then we could put a green one right on top of that one Look at all those nice colors, boys and girls, right? And then we also could put maybe a red one on top of that one. A red one with a little marking on it. Maybe it's a special building. This will be a building. It, look at that. It almost looks like an airplane. Oh, that's not bad. That could be an airplane. That's where the pilot is. He's in there. God, right? There we go. We'll put this all over here. And so the train, maybe this is where, not the train, maybe this is really the airport. Because if this is a plane, it has to land someplace. Right, boys and girls? Maybe it flies over. Story train town. Like that. And then it lands. Whoa. Almost went off the land. There we go. All right. It landed right on where it's supposed to. <laughs> it landed right there. 
that's where the airplane stays, right there. And then we have Tommy, the taxi driver. He comes around over here. We also have some smaller Legos, boys and girls. Right? We could use these. We could make a little car. Like that, right? So you, <laughs> it has wheels like that, and it goes like, like that. We could, we could do something with that. I think that, how's that? Like that. Oh, maybe it's supposed to go the other way because those are the lights. I don't, oh, here's a steering wheel. You could put that on there. Then why don't we put someone in charge to steer this, this, this car? Oh, look at him. He looks like a fireman. Right? He has a hat on. It looks like a fireman's hat to me. His name is John the Fireman. <laughs> Good morning, John. Look at that. Oh, see, that's his fire truck. <laughs> there he goes. He's He needs to go off to take care of fire things, fireman things. And he has his friend, Francine. She's a firefighter too. And, oh, and here's another fire truck with a ladder. A fire truck with a ladder. They're on their way to take care of a fire. Watch out, everybody. Whoa, there they go around that way. Watch out, everybody. Oh, the fire truck has to get... Oh, there's, there's Freddy the firefighter right there. He helps, too. So we'll just go... They're all over there taking care of their... What they need to do. And here's Nancy the nurse. <laughs> and Tommy... Tommy the taxi driver is driving Nancy the nurse. You stay over here, Bob the Builder. You can stay right there. Okay. So Nancy the nurse, she goes, she needs to go home. She's been up all evening. She's tired now because she's doing so much work at the hospital. So she needs to go home and she lives over here. Thank you for bringing me home. There she goes, Nancy the nurse. She's going home and that's for the fire. That says fire. There we go, that's for the firemen. And all these trees, we have to, you know, sometimes we really need to stay a little bit more organized in Story Train Town. <laughs> there we go. We'll just, that's for next time when we use more Legos. Legos are nice. I hope you have some Legos. They're fun to use. You can make whatever you like. And there's our cars. And they go around, and here comes the choo-choo train. The choo-choo train is now going to go over the bridge. How's that? Let's have the choo-choo train. Ready? Blow our whistle. <whistles> All aboard. Let's see. Oh, I know what we need. We need this. This is story. the story train town clock. It tells us all aboard. What's that, boys and girls? <gasps> Look at that. Is that something? And then you just press the button, ready? <coughs> Whoa, what do you think about that? All aboard the story train. <laughs> we could put that right there for now so that you can see it. I want you to be able to see everything. See, as if you were right here in story train town. Well, and how the story, the, the story train, train, choo-choo train is going to go on the bridge. It's right here. But, boys and girls, look at it. The bridge had to be open. So what's going to happen now to the choo-choo train when it goes up? Because the boat was going under. See the little boat that we have? The boat was going under there. And he needs to get through. So the choo-choo train comes up. Oh, no, but it can't go over the bridge until the boat goes through. It has to wait right there. So... There goes the sailboat sailing through, like that, and gets all the way to the other side, goes sailing along over there, okay? And that means that the bridge can come down now. The bridge is down, and that means the choo-choo train can go over the bridge now. Oh, no, the gate is down. We, it has to come up there yeah, for it to go through. It has to open. Because it was closed, now it's open. Is this one? Oh, it's closed too. 
That means it needs to be open like that for the train to go through. Here we go. It's going to go down there around that corner. Here it comes. There it goes. Around that way. And then it comes back over here and goes this way. Woo -hoo. Here comes the story train. We'll ride the story train now. Through sunny days and rain now. Sometimes it might be raining. Listen to the choo-choo sounds in story train town. Whee! There it goes. Over the bridge. And down again around the corner. Whoa, there it goes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there we go, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me in story train town. We'll come back again tomorrow. Here we go. We'll just put the story train right there. And we'll go back to Sharon's living room. <laughs> Right, because that's where, and we'll sing a few more songs and tell a few more stories. Let's do that. Here we go. See this story train top right over there. And here is Sharon's living room. This is where we have the story train every day. Right here. Oh, good. <laughs> good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back from Story Train Town. Isn't that so nice? I'm so glad that you were able to have a nice visit. Did you enjoy that? It went around the choo-choo train, well, on the choo-choo train, right? And what else happened at Story Train Town? Oh, was the bridge up? It was. Oh, the bridge was up. And so what happened to the choo-choo train? Because the bridge was up, it had to wait, didn't it? It had to wait. And then the sailboat went through. So then, then the bridge came, they put the bridge back down, right? And then the choo-choo train was able to go over the bridge. That was so nice that you enjoyed that. I'm so glad. So I think we have time for one more story, boys and girls. Why don't we tell another story? Let's do that. How about we could tell the story Let's see. It's called, this one says, May I Come In? And it has some different kinds of stories in there. And I know that some of you like to build things. Right? Some of you like to build things and use Legos or, or maybe, and, any, and that could be boys and girls. Ms. Sharon likes to build things. She likes to build things. She has her hammer and she builds things <laughs> sometimes. So this is a, a story, this is called Buildings. Do you know who, who designs these big buildings like this, boys and girls? A person who's called an architect would be somebody who would design an engineer. And someone special would design a bridge. And someone else would design these tall buildings and then there's even the smaller buildings over here, right? Smaller ones, and then they get a little bit bigger. That Those look like houses, maybe. Those are like houses that people live in. And these would be tall, either apartment buildings or offices where, where mummies and daddies go to work. Big, tall buildings, like in a city, right? And so this is a poem by Mary Cohen Livingston, and I'll read this for you. It's about buildings. Buildings are a great surprise. Everyone's a different size. Offices grow long and high. These ones. Oh. Tall enough to touch the sky. Houses seem more like a box made of glue and building blocks. Every time you look, you see buildings shaped quite differently. They are shaped differently. They're square or they're rectangle, right? Some of them could be round. Old buildings and new buildings. Look at all the equipment there. Do you see there are trucks and bulldozers and cranes? Whoa. This says, men are working, men and women are working in the city. They want to take down some old buildings. 
They work with big machines and the old buildings come down. Now the old buildings are down and new buildings are going up. They work with machines here too. Up go the new buildings. They work to finish the new buildings. They work with machines. Now some of them are working in this new building. They will finish the building and people will come here to live. See that? And that's the story of that. That's when buildings are made. Right, boys and girls? New buildings? Come on, maybe you've seen some. And we made a building in Story Train Town out of Legos. Remember? Well, actually, we made an airplane with all those nice colors, right? That is such a colorful airplane. I like that. We'll put that right back in Story Train Town. And let's see, so how about we'll sing a song? How about If You're Happy and You Know It? We can sing that, and we're going to have four different parts to that. We will have clapping your hands. We will have stomping your feet. We will have snapping your fingers, your, fing yeah, your fingers, and saying hurrah. So, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Not too loud. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Your fingers now. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, or you try to snap your fingers, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, say hurrah, hurrah, like that. If you're happy and you know, say hoorah, hoorah. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hoorah, hoorah. If you're happy and you know it. Now we're going to do all four. So all four, so that means it's first, second, third, and fourth. Or first, next, next, and last. Okay, so there are four things you're going to clap your hands, right? Do you remember that was first? Then you stop your feet, that's second. Then you snap your fingers is third. And saying hurrah is fourth. So there, there are four things. So I'll, well, we won't go too fast. Ready? If you smile while you do this because you're happy. It's a happy, I'm happy song. That's what that's about. If you're Happy and you know it, do all four. Ready? It's four things. It's snap, snap. Hoorah, hoorah. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, do all four. Stomp, stomp, snap, snap. Hoorah, hoorah. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, snap, snap, and hurrah, hurrah, yay! <laughs> Good job! Good job doing it. I saw you doing that. You were able to. Um, remember all four of those. That's not easy. It's not easy all the time to be remembering things. So... Today we had a very good visit with each other, right? Every day we're here and it's story train time and I miss Sharon. And I'm so happy that you joined me here. 
And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. or within that close proximity <laughs> of 9 a.m. Yes, it's been every day now for four weeks. Miss Sharon has been here with you at 9 a.m. Thank you so much. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow on another episode of The Story Train. So we'll, we have a song that we sing every day. <laughs> Friends will always be forever you and me. Learning and sharing with friends. With friends, I like you cause you're you. You like me, yes you do, I'm so glad. Laughing and sharing with friends. With friends. For now we'll say adieu. That just means till next time, boys and girls. But smile, don't be blue. We're always together. My heart is there with you. Have a great day, boys and girls. Try and get outside and get some fresh air and some sunshine if you can. If it's nice where you are, it's good for you to be able to do that. And I'll see you tomorrow on the story train.